Hi, and welcome back to an edition of Good Neck Kisses. I'm your host, Kristen, the Infinity 2 loom. It's a 60-inch S-shaped loom. It's got an S-shape to it or a figure eight, hence the Infinity name. What I want to tell you, though, is, is when you're casting on, it can be a little bit daunting if you're used to working on smaller projects, but I found that the best method to cast it on is the crochet on method. Because what happens is when we cast on, we have to wrap all of our rows and then go back the other way because this is not a double knit. This is a one-sided rake as you go around. So we wrap them all in the S and then we go back for the second part and then we knit over. So it's three steps. But what I want to show you is how to cast on the crochet way and then you only go around one time. So when you do it that way, it's really encouraging because then you can get into your project faster and then you can just go in front of the TV or sit in the car while your hubby's driving or whatever. So I'm going to show you that method right now today. Stay tuned. We're going to start with a slip knot. And I like to work my way to the left, uh, start my starting peg, go to the left to do my crochet cast on. So I'm just going to pick a spot on here and tighten that up and put my tail on the inside, that beginning line. And I'm going to take my crochet hook. Um, today I've got a G um, size hook and I'm going to take my um, yarn and put it around the back of the peg grabbing this yarn here pulling through the yarn that's from the back of the peg and pulling it through that little uh, yarn there and then I've got it on a loop here so then I'm going to put the next yarn behind the next peg grab that one and pull it on through working yarn going behind here Put this hook behind, in between these two pegs, pull it through, go in between the next two pegs, pull it through. So I'm kind of struggling in the way I'm showing you, but um, it's actually easier than, than what it looks like. Uh, this, uh, so basically we've got the loop here from between these two pegs, and then I'm going to the next one and grabbing this. And then I'm sort of rotating my, my crochet hook to get that in there. So we've got our next one. I'm going to grab this, rotate it, and pull it on through. So what this crochet cast on is doing here is it's going ahead and grabbing the material and pulling it through and already making, you can see it's got two, um, it's already got your two, your first row on here. So it's casting it on in completion rather than going a revolution all the way around this big loom and then going back again and making another revolution of wrapping uh, your peg and then knitting off which is wrapping first wrapping second knitting off that's three steps so rather than take the three steps what I'm doing is I'm doing all three in one steps. This is the first row I've already completed casting this on. So it's a really nice time saver, especially when you're talking about making something with this um, beautiful long compact loom, this big S loom, this Infinity 2. Hi, I'm Kristen with Good Knit Kisses. Happy 